In this video, we will understand how to build our first application by using Spring Boot. Let's get started with the Spring Boot. Right. To build our first application with the Spring Boot, what are the prerequisites? So, as part of this application creation, I will be using Java 1.8 version and I am using Spring Toolsuit IDE and Maven I am going to use as a build tool. So, you don't need to worry much about them. So, in the future classes, we are going to see about them in detail. Right. So, in order to create our first application, I am going to use Spring Initializer website. So, here so start.spring.io is the URL to open Spring Initializer, right? So using this website provided by the Spring, we can create our first application based on Spring Boot. So project uh, based on what build tool, Maven or Gradle. Support is there with the Maven and Gradle, so I'm choosing Maven. It's supporting for, it's supporting for three programming languages, Java, Kotlin, and Groovy. All these three, are going to run based on the JVM. So here I'm choosing Java and Spring Boot. So which version of the Spring Boot you want to use? So if you observe, they are only choosing by default 2.2.6 is the latest stable version. The remaining versions are available, but they are still under snapshot, right? So stable versions we are choosing, which is 2.2.6 and project metadata. So you can give, so here I'm giving the project details, com dot coding tips. Right. Artifact ID, what is the name of the project that you want to use? 01 first Spring Boot application. Right. So description, what are the package name that you want to give? So here I'm giving package name as com.coding tips. And what is the type of the package that you want to use? If you want to go for standalone, then choose jar. So if you want a web application, then go for war. So in the boot, web application also can be deployed in the jar format because boot execution will begin from main method. And here I'm choosing, we'll talk about that in, in next classes, right? Here I'm choosing Java version 8. And here we have options, generate this project, explore this project, or share this project. So here I'm choosing an option, explore. So how exactly that project is going to be created? It is giving the outline. So here it is created one form.xml file in that. So boot parent starter is available with version number we have chosen, right? And one dependency spring boot starter. So this is called as starter form, which is required to run our boot application and go inside the SRC. So here, uh, whatever the package that we have chosen, right? In that package it is created one class, which is application.java. This is called start class of the Spring Boot. Spring Boot application execution will begin from this start class only. People will call it as main class also in the Spring Boot. And under the resources, one properties file got created, application.properties. So here we can write our configuration properties. Like, so if you want to connect with the database, database configuration properties we will write here, SMTP properties we will write, any messages that you want to use in the application we will write in this properties file. So in the form of key and value pair, we can write config properties in this application.properties file. And test class also got created. So to perform the unit testing, so we can use this test class. Unit test we can write inside this test class. This is the total outline of our first Spring Boot application. Right now, let's download this application. So, which we created this application by using start.spring.io website. This is called Spring Initializer to create boot applications. Then click on this download button. Then one zip file got downloaded. Right, go to that zip. Right, extract this. Extract through this folder. That zip file I extracted. Right, so this is the project that we created in the inside the Spring Initializer. Now, so take this project URL up to the location where pom.xml file is available. So here our pom.xml file is available now. So here I am choosing this path. I copied this path. Now 
go to our IDE now. So as it is a Maven project, I will import this Maven project into IDE. This is Spring Tool Suit IDE file import existing Maven projects paste the path which we copied of our project which we downloaded click on this browse so that it will point to that pom.xml it will identify the pom.xml file then click on finish so project is getting imported to our toolsuit IDE So this is one way of creating our boot application. So here I used Spring Initializer website. We can create that boot application directly from our IDE also, right? So that is the second way that we can use. So first, uh, let's complete this process. Then we I will show you the second way also to create our boot application. So it is taking some time to import because it is downloading some dependencies which are required because this is the first time we are importing this project with that version yeah now this project got imported so this is our application that we downloaded from spring initializer website so this is maven project folder structure because we have chosen maven as our build tool now let's explore this so this is our pom.xml file where boot starter parent dependency will be available and boot starter dependency also will be available this is parent starter and java 1.8 version we have chosen and boot starter dependency and by default test dependency also coming for our application right now src main java main resources test java is available in the src main java application that java class we have seen in the website so this is called as start class which is entry point for our boot application properties file is available so where we can configure our configuration properties in the form of key and value pair and test class is also created to perform unit testing this is based on spring boot base test fine so with this we are able to create our application let's try running this application once right click run as boot app it is launching that application go to the console If application runs successfully, we should be able to see banner, banner logo here. Right, perfect. So this is called Spring Boot banner. So it is printing the version number also, and application got terminated. So successfully, we are able to create our first application based on the Spring Boot, and we are able to run it also. Right. In the next video, we'll see how to create the Spring Boot application based on IDE. Thank you.